a historic St. Louis manufacturing site near the confluence of the River De Pair and the Mississippi River is experiencing a metamorphosis. Green Street is an urban developer that uh, works here in St. Louis. Our focus is the urban environment and sites like this that we're standing at today. So we spent a lot of time with the city to really come together with a game plan in connection with uh, Department of Natural Resources and Department of Economic Development, and then working with the governor of the state of Missouri. So this area, St. Louis, the Carondelet area, has historically been heavily industrial, but there's also some residential buffer here. And so it means a great deal in terms of economic uh, impact. There's a lot of job creation on the project. Uh, the site had sat dormant since the 1980s and it's undergone quite a bit of remediation work. One of the most gratifying things that uh, I get to be a part of and experience is really taking a site such as the Carondelet site, seeing it in its raw, untamed form and uh, converting it through a lot of hard work and effort and collaboration. It takes a lot of people uh, with a lot of expertise, experience, and we're fortunate that we've aligned ourselves with great partners in, in our industry. And uh, the result is a, a great product that uh, the community benefits from. The remarkable transformation from former Brownfield to the New River City Business Park promises to bring new jobs, innovation, and hope to the community. With plans for four buildings with as much as 585,000 square feet of space, Green Street Development, working with Aton Environmental, is close to delivering a state-of-the-art green and sustainable solution, offering warehouse and workspaces already attracting marquee tenants. As one of the largest vacant ground parcels within the city of St. Louis, the River City Business Park is poised to bring new jobs and economic growth to a once blighted area. Green Street and Aton share the same values in terms of uh, being good stewards for the environment and making sure that we come to the table with all the stakeholders on a, on a brownfield project and that we're getting it through closure. Following the certificate of completion issued by the MDNR for all groundwater monitoring, the team moved forward with the development. Incorporating our monoshield system on a project like this can save time and money due to the ease of installation that monoshield provides. With this 150,000 square foot pad, they can do upwards of 60,000 square foot per day. We've worked on uh, a couple of projects with Land Science. You know, a couple of things really stand out for me from their technical expertise and ability to prior to a project to really helping us understand the application process, but also the customer service aspect. At the end of the day, the value that they bring to the, to the project uh, really separates them from other competitors. One of the main reasons they chose Monoshield for this site is because it's such a open and large space. Having ease of application that Monoshield provides is very advantageous in adhering to the tight construction schedules that we're dealing with here. Being able to roll out a sheet and spray the seams and have a extremely durable um, and chemically resistant barrier really reduces the impact that incorporating one of our systems can have on a construction schedule. The advancements to our spray material, when the asphalt cures, having those nitrile particles in there gives it a stronger backbone and it's what gives our spray material 10 times more chemical resistance to a lot of common VOCs you'd see on sites, especially such as this. With Aton's recommendations, the Mono Shield proved to be uh, really a no-brainer um, because of its uh, the way the process is designed. It's unique, uh, and we um, well, I'm sure we're going to be very happy with it because uh, of the design and the way it can be uh, installed. And economically, it's a it's a great alternative when you're looking uh, for that kind of a product. What's most gratifying for me is kind of bridging the gap between environmental stewardship and business and being able to help clean up contaminated property and getting them back into uh, beneficial reuse I think is very rewarding for me. For us, what you want to do is exceed people's expectations and you got to make people very comfortable. We spent a lot of time really building that skill set to take sites like this or take a building and re bring it back to life. So it's uh, meeting goals, exceeding them, and attracting the right companies. 
If you are interested in learning more about MonoShield or Land Science's full suite of vapor mitigation solutions, visit LandScienceTech.com.